Hi guys, the cheapest and most safest coins on the whole internet. Check out MuleFactory.com and use the code OWNFEEF at checkout for a discount. They have a 100% safe comfort trade and they also do lots of different deals with coins and also different players as you can see down below. Check them out, there's a link in the description. Hey guys, what is going to earth to a brand new video guys. Welcome to a method like basically which is going to be a top 5 trading methods on FIFA 21 currently in May. So we're going to start off here now guys with a method that I've been doing quite a bit recently trying to get used to again. I used to do it back in the day like maybe say like a year or so ago on the old FIFA. You put in this like basically this filter um, 40k and then you go to say 30k I think it is at the minute. I can't remember it changes about because of the price of players Let's go 35k in the middle. It's probably easier Then you scroll through to like the 59th minute. It's probably about six pages normally And there's a little bit less of them. Oh no wait, there probably are still six. Um, maybe even seven No, there is six so um, you go to the 59th minute and you find you look now basically guys at players like this so Bastier Bastoni basically he probably has sold if it's a deal. He hasn't sold now We've got to be really quick and just go and check on him because I mean this could be a deal here So all you want to do is check him in a shadow. So just go like that go 70k So it's, it's not really a deal. You know what I mean? You probably could sell it on for more You know obviously at a certain time like if it goes 69k in here you can see the cheapest ones are in a shadow, so there is potential here. So what you could do then is now that I'm going to do is quickly go to Footbin and just check his price because it looks like he's not a deal, but you just never know. You know what I mean? He could be at a low point right now. So Alexandro Bastoni, um, we check him now on the hourly graph. His average price over the last couple of days has been about 72k. So actually, it's not really worth picking him up. You know what I mean? You could probably sell him on for like a 500 coin profit. If he had 50 mil, maybe it's worth it. But yeah, that's the first method, guys. The second one is going to be very similar, but this time it's 10.5 and 14,500, maybe maybe a little bit less. Just depends on how this works when we put it up. And then 40k in here, and then we scroll through again here. There shouldn't be many pages, maybe four or five. Um, it might just be five. Yeah, it's literally just on the edge of five. It's obviously messy. You want to ignore. If you like Lukaku, you want to check. So. Basically, now I've got to quickly go on to Fubbin again now and check Lukaku's going rate. The chem style means he's also a bit extra each time. That's the reason why we have that there. The Lukaku is definitely a deal. I'm going to go and pick it up um, right now. He can sell for anything between. Basically, he fluctuates a lot. So he can sell for up to 62k. So we're going to try and bin him off at 62k at some point. He's got... Um, Obviously, his team of the season now, but that shouldn't do much. His team of the season is about nine, uh, 1.4 mil. So, we're going to go check Lukaku now. He might at the moment be at a low point. We could pick some more up here. You never know. So, we'll go like 63k and let's go 41 just to maybe a little bit higher. Yeah, oh, he's 86, of course, and he's 87. So, he's 80. Oh, okay, that'll get rid of it. If we put in 50, oh, that's maybe a little bit high still. It's difficult to figure out. So 63 there. We scroll through and the other one is yeah, 62. So there you go, look guys. You can start on for 62k. That's like a 5k profit, which is really, really good. Um, really handy to be honest as well, which obviously isn't a hunter, of course, but we don't care about the other ones really, because people will look for Lukaku in a hunter. Um Method number three is a really simple one that we've shown you guys a lot of times on the channel. You want to go gold left forward and like 1.11k, something like that, maybe 1.2, and just check the cheapest ones. So we just check, there's no real deals there. We go to right forward, do the same again, check for any deals, nothing up. And then what you can do is you can go gold rare and then go to like 1.7, see if anything's up here. So Marusic is normally a right mid. We're going to go pick him up, sell him on for like 2.4k. Um, he'll definitely sell for that over time. Move Lukaku over there. So this is a really good method, guys, stuff like this. I mean, if you go on the left forward side as well, there should be a couple. But we'll see if he's normally a left mid. He's not. So you would leave that. I mean, you could go to 2k if you wanted to and just check. But I'd be getting a bit high on price at this point. I wouldn't really bother personally. I'd stick to like 1.7 because that's the safest way you're going to do it. And if, like, sorry, I mean, method number four is this. It's a very basic method again. You go Shadow Defender and you look in here, look about 2k. You see, um, oh, we haven't got gold in, have we? Um, so we go gold, I think it's like maybe 1.8 by the looks of it actually. Um, so yeah, you can see here, look, I mean, this guy is 550 coins. He'll sell on for 1.2k over, like, throughout the day. That just shows how easy this method is to do. That's really nice there, 1.2k for him. And then, guys, the final method for you guys is going to be a bit of an expensive one, but it's one that I can't really do right now because I haven't got the coins. But it's a method that's really good. You want to go into icons, put in about 100k into here, 
and then put about I'd say six hundred in here. Maybe maybe go two. Maybe go one forty in here to get the min prices. And then go eight oh one. And I sorry, no, that's too high. Maybe six. Is it six hundred? The price caps have changed. I think it may be six oh one. See, you could do it like this. You might want to go a little bit lower actually, because apparently for some reason the Icon Max prices have all changed. There, that'll do. But you want to just look for like basically deals in the 59th minute. Um, if you want to go a bit lower, you obviously can. Like maybe three. You want to just look for basically deals that are basically fresh cards. So like Guardiola, they're 550 look for Guardiola. It's obviously overpriced. Someone's listed that up at the lowest and the max price cap. But there is another way of doing this. You can literally just go and snipe the icons as well if you have like the patience to sit and do. Oh, Jesus Christ, they're cheap now. It's so long as I have done this. You know what I mean? You can just tell I haven't done it in so long because. Literally, I've not had any coins for ages. They're literally 70k for an icon now. Wow. You could sit at like 65k if you wanted and just literally refresh and see if anything does come up. It's very unlikely, but I've seen an incident in the past where massive deals are kind of like 1 mil profits. People went to this for 600k list for 60 and stuff like that. But I hope you have enjoyed, guys. Thanks for watching. Bit of a different video today. If you have enjoyed, please do drop a like, sub if you're new, and I will see you all very soon with a brand new.